The cost of Woolworths' embarrassing foray into hardware was made clear today. Australia's biggest retailer posted a half-year loss of nearly a billion dollars thanks to its attempt to take on Bunnings. The company's also named a new chief executive whose job it'll be to fix the mess. Here's Andrew Robertson. The all-new Masters. It's a must-see. But today we saw what a disaster Masters has been. The company would have made a half-year profit of $926 million, down 33%. But the Masters write-down of almost $2 billion wiped that out, leaving an overall loss for Woolies of $973 million. There are still going to be ongoing issues with trying to get out of Masters. The shutdown, the process, the agreement with Lowe's is still not being finalised. But probably more worrying for Woolworths is that its core supermarket business continues to struggle. The loss of profitability, the loss of sales, are showing that the fresh food people need to deliver on the fresh food people to get the result, and I don't think they have been. And if the problems in masters and supermarkets aren't enough, Big W is still dragging the chain, with profits there falling nearly 40%. While the Woolworths result was a shocker, much of it was expected. The real interest today was on the future and the appointment of the new chief executive, and that's where many people were surprised. After what it called a global search, Woolworths has plumped for an internal appointment the man who currently heads its troubled supermarket division, Brad Banducci. I think to bring somebody from within the business, you're just going to get the same result. Externally, they would have had fresh ideas, new activities, and maybe a bit of perspective on what they need to do. In another blow for shareholders who are expecting Woolworths' dividend to rise, it's been slashed to 44 cents a share. Andrew Robertson, ABC News.